Now, we all know the Minecraft mace is pretty decent. It does a lot of damage and can obliterate other players. Now, a couple of the ways Mojang balanced this was by adding a really long reload time, as well as needing to jump off from a super high pillar. But Minecraft Bedrock Edition ignores these and makes the mace insanely broken. Now, to show you what I mean, I got my friend Plushy33 to 1v1 me. Hello, Are you Dorks. ready to have the epic? 1v1 of all time the viewers have been asking for this one <laughs> um yeah i think we know the winner though because i have not played bedrock in like two weeks but it's okay i'm gonna lock in like kind of confused on that oh. oh that did not work oh my god oh what that's kind of stupid. Ooh. Okay, I, don't, I didn't know how that works. Okay, uh, so like two dapped you. <laughs> I didn't know it did that much damage. What the? F That's crazy. See, the reason why I wanted to make a video on Bedrock Maces is because on Java, Maces are like kind of balanced because you have to time your hits and it makes aiming harder. On here, you can still just spam click as much as you want, which makes them so busted. And I like, whee! Nope, that didn't do much. Oh, uh, watch it. Oh, oh. oh. oh I'm back. <laughs> Yay. Oh, bro, you just combo. <laughs> there you go. What is this? <laughs> You're reaching I on even, me. I didn't even go up in the sky. I just like, I don't know. Hello, Avery Doors. Uh, wow, that's I'm some scared. nice high ground. Now I have the higher ground. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Bro, like it doesn't, I go. can't even get near you. On the floor. Bro, you're reaching. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> You're literally just reaching. It's not even fair. The I fact you can just spam it makes it completely pointless <laughs> to go up. <laughs> right when you're about to come down. Bah, 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 the mace doesn't make sense on bedrock because you can just spam click it and combo them. <laughs> See, if they do happen in the actual events, we're going to be playing with the kit wrong but still winning. Because it doesn't matter. It just doesn't. Like, come down, plushie. Thing. Come down. Yep, that's right. Try and yeah. get try and get your mace hits on me. It doesn't work. It doesn't yeah. matter on this version. <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. It's so stupid. Basically, just like use it as like a sword because you're yeah. not going to be able to. Mace is a, it, it's just a better sword. That's literally all it is. It's so dumb. Congrats, Minecraft Bedrock. You completely ruined the mace. It doesn't make <laughs> sense to have in the game because you can just spam click it. Now, believe it or not, maces aren't the only thing Minecraft Bedrock ruins. See, in Minecraft, one of the most important items you can get while playing is the shield. When someone on Java Edition hits you while you're using it, it just doesn't do damage to you. It blocks their hits. Now, you might be thinking, what does Minecraft Bedrock Edition do that ruins this? Yeah, they just kind of launch you for some reason. Very odd choice by Mojang to make them function like that. I, I don't really understand it. Keep in mind, axes still break shields on this version. There is quite literally zero reason for shields to launch things. They just they just did that just because, I guess. By the way, guys, if you could consider smashing that subscribe button, that'd be greatly appreciated. It takes, like, no effort from you, and it greatly benefits me and helps me out. You know, making these videos. Yep, alright, let's get on with the video. Now, I want to do a shield kit because of how shields just send you flying backwards. Oh, gotta show off this really cool Minecraft bug that for some reason is not patched. Alright, plushie. Aha! Shields are really good for getting someone in the air and then comboing them. Oh my god. I'm so confused on what happened. I can't. <laughs> Charge it back. Mojang needs to like reevaluate everything about Bedrock PvP because this just doesn't even make sense. No, I think it's fine actually. I like it. Oh. Come here. I can't. Why is my shield? Oh, nice. Here as a close one. Now, another really dumb thing about Bedrock PvP is the durability on your weapon doesn't go down based on how much you've used it. No, that would be stupid. It drains based on how fast you click. Now, as you might be able to imagine, that leads to some interesting scenarios. 
where your weapons just break so much faster than they should. There's this one event I play in a couple of times, MCBC, which stands for Minecraft Bedrock Championship, and they had one kit in the event where you would use a wooden axe to hit people. It was a shield kit that used the iron armor, leather armor, and you had a wooden axe. My wooden axe broke mid-game. It was so dumb. I had to purposely slow down how fast I clicked when PvP in. It's it's a major flaw with Minecraft Bedrock. Does the pickaxe have unbreaking on it? It has efficiency. It doesn't have unbreaking. No. Ooh, ooh, that's another thing we can show off about Bedrock. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, here, um, <laughs> let me turn down my debounce time. You just want me to stand still or do you want me to Yeah, ju just stand in the corner so I can hit you okay. effectively. It's broken. Because <laughs> for some reason, durability stacks, even if the hits don't. <laughs> so you can just insta-break something. It just it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, bro oh now we can't break it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, luckily, there is an upside to all of this messiness in Bedrock PvP, and that's the fact that it is incredibly customizable. I talked about MCBC earlier, and the main scripter for that Prime Strat made it so that way the weird, like, stacked KB doesn't happen. You know, he just fixed that. He got rid of that, which is so awesome. It changed how you PvP completely on Bedrock. What I'm currently on right now, the Hive, my favorite Minecraft server of all time has some insane custom PvP, which I would love to show to you guys right now in these clips with my good friend Quapot. We did some awesome 1v1s. Now, I will give you a heads up. Uh, this is some, like, high-tier mid-fighting going on here that you might not really understand what's going on, but basically, we're left-clicking each other as fast as we can, and we do a method to reduce her KB called jump reset in, where basically after you get hit and you're about to touch the ground, you press your space bar, and you take less KB. Helps you get combos. All right, hopefully that's enough information. Enjoy the footage. Go, go. Go? Oh, yep. okay. Oh, crap. Oh. Caught pot. Oh, no. My health. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> oh, my GG's. goodness. Yeah. Got all that practice in there. Oh, where's this air started? Oh. Ah. Oh, my bad. Let me, let me try that again. <laughs> no, that's all okay. good. You ready? Wait. Should we heal the tall? <laughs> sure. Or? Sure. Why not? Oh, why did I jump there? It's fine. I got those S taps. Oh. No! Oh, jump reset and a strafe. You didn't see it coming. Oh, bot. Oh, no! oh GG's. Okay. Don't want to get pre-owed. I'm trying! Oh, those are some Ready? crazy jump resets for both of us. No! Oh. Got a weird double hit there. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, you're locking in this round. Oh. oh. Didn't lock in enough, but you're going How crazy. A one and a half. Oh. Uh, yeah, GG's. Oh, thanks, for, thanks for helping me with this, man. Of course.